Oh my god, 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 oh my god! That was the video from just after I pulled the Charles out from the celebrations. Unfortunately, I didn't record my actual pack opening. We're hoping for something similar in the video that I've got for you today. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome to my first pack opening on this channel. Today I will be opening a Team Rocket booster pack. I bought this pack off eBay for around £158. The seller told me that he'd actually purchased these back in 1999 to 2000 and they've been sat in his loft this entire time and he's been trying to sell them as a full booster but couldn't so he's now selling the individual packs. He hasn't weighed the pack, I haven't weighed the pack. The pack could contain a Dark Dragonite or a Dark Charizard which in a PSA 10 which is a rating company for the condition of the card go for between 1 and 2,000 pounds with the Dark Charizard about 1,750 and the Dark Dragonite at 1,250. Some of the cards have value, a lot of them don't. Some of the starters are pretty valuable if you get them in a good condition. To be honest, I'm just excited to be able to open a vintage pack that was made in the year 2000. Just to be able to open one of these things which has never been opened, no one's ever seen the cards inside, is exciting to me. So yeah, let's get into the pack opening. Uh, without further ado, let's open this pack. I want to be really careful because the art is even worth a little bit of money. Like Selling the art after the... On the pack, and the pack, I mean. One, two, three to the front. Here we go. Dark Gloom is the first card. I hope I did this trick right. I actually already have this card. Ro gave it to me the other day. I should have it around the desk. <gasps> Dark War Turtle. This could be worth dollar. Because, uh, it looks so odd, doesn't it? Crazy. What's the let's, 1995? Yeah, that's when it was released. 1999. Dark Persian. Did I do the card trick wrong? I thought this would be like the uncommons at the start. Eevee. I have this one as well, actually. Grimer, yo, this card, so this card when it was first released in Japan, the eyes here were facing up this way and it looked like he was trying to get an upskirt. So they banned the card and they changed it for the English version and now his eyes face like this. It's really, really interesting. Bit of, bit of card history for you there. No like commons yet. Ah, bruh, look at that art. It's so cool. Ekins. Sick. I didn't know this guy was in the set, I forget. Psyduck. Lots of air. Uh, let's have a look at the centering. Should have looked at the back of the cards, actually. Ponyta. Oh, Charmander! That's really big. On the back of these cards, it doesn't look so bad. Maybe it was just the first couple that had the problem. This is really good. Getting like one of the base Pokemon as your uncommons. I think this one will have value, but like when it's graded. <gasps> you thought it was for a second, didn't you? Match up. How many cards do I have left? This is the last one. <sighs> what is it? Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. What is it? It's a rainbow energy. Okay. Hey, it's not what we wanted, but we'll take it. So yeah, unfortunately it wasn't quite what we wanted out of the pack opening. We didn't pull anything crazy of value. The Charmander would be um, good for selling if I could get the card graded, but to be honest, I probably won't. I think I'm going to be collecting the Team Rocket set myself. I'm just going to buy the cards individually. I may do another pack opening at the end of this month if I end up getting my hands on another Team Rocket pack for cheap. Um, if not, let me know what you think of this pack opening. If you'd like to see more of like the vintage packs, that's what I really enjoy. The fact that I could pull some like really valuable and the idea that these packs have been sat around for a long time. 
Let me know what you thought of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at PokeTito or Twitter, Tito Games, and TikTok, Tito Games. I post regular updates on what I'm doing with my channel, if I'm streaming on Twitch or if I'm making new content, you know, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.